Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. I hope everyone rested well. It is Friday, TGI Friday. Yes, 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 yes. When you come on this morning, please tell me good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time of day you may be watching this particular Facebook post or wherever you may see it. Uh, today, I want to focus on um, the sacrifice. And, and not looking at sacrifice as a struggle. So that's going to be our focus today. Coming from the book of Leviticus. Um, the 6th chapter and 15th verse. And it reads. He shall take from it his handful of fine flour of the grain offering with its oil. And all the frankincense which is on the grain offering and shall burn it on the altar for a sweet aroma as a memorial to the Lord. So today, again, all about making a sacrifice where it doesn't feel like a struggle, okay? Giving from your heart, pure place where you're not feeling so overwhelmed, you know, I can recall um, being in church service and looking around when it's almost offering time and watching people calculate in their mind, you know, what they will or won't get give uh, during service or for the for the church um, and thinking, you know, will I be able to feed my kids? Will I be able to put gas in my car? Will I have enough for lunch for myself during the week? You know, you see everybody's mind calculating. Um and, and I'm, you know, being honest, I've had those moments myself where, you know, there was a tough time in my life going through a very bad divorce, no child support, and two mouths to feed and, you know, coming from a household that had two six-figure incomes down to one. You know, it just uh, was a, a, a lot to handle at that time. But you just don't waver. You focus on what you know God will do. Because he promised. So you have to make that sacrifice and with gladness in your heart. And give it knowing that God has your back. Always and forever. But I'm not saying that it's always been easy to do just that. Because you can get in your own way sometimes and, and have your own understanding. But lean not to that. And know that God is real. And whatever he promised, he will do. I do want to focus on prayer today. I think a lot of times, you know, we get away from just simple prayer and having purity in the prayer. Um, when you make a sacrifice, it shouldn't be a struggle, not a tug of war in your heart and your mind. You should just do it and understand and have faith and know that God's going to be right there for you. So. We're going to pray today, um, and I thought uh, this soul secret uh, prayer was absolutely wonderful, and it spoke to my heart. So I'm going to share, all right? Lord, there is only one way to have more of you, and that is to have less of me. <laughs> the Bible talks about the sweet aroma of sacrifice, my God, by dying to myself is nearly killing me. I really want to want to sacrifice, but I keep discovering how much I'm holding on to my life, my hopes, my dreams, my stuff. Lord, lead me to the place where I can let go gladly, where I can release everything to you and offer a true sacrifice. Key word is true. I want to give more than I have and more than I am. I want to learn to give what I'd rather keep. Not a sacrifice of law, but a sacrifice of love. Give more, give me more love than I have so that I can love you more. Give me greater gratitude that I might be more grateful than I am. Mm. I want to sacrifice I want the sacrifice of my praise to rise before your throne like the finest perfume. Mm. You know, when you have to give an account. Yes. <laughs> and with every prayer, the pure, sweet fragrance of love. 
Let my worship be like incense, filling up the halls of heaven. Lord, I lay my heart upon your holy altar. You know this heart so well, my God, because you made it. <laughs> its flaws, its frailty, its fire. I had a lot of that. <laughs> now send your fire. Purify me. Make me yours. Make me a living sacrifice, pleasing and acceptable to you. Mm. Amen. <laughs> Just amen after that. When sacrifice is a struggle, and it shouldn't be, ever, look at the sacrifice that God has made for us on a my daily uh, on a daily basis the sacrifice the sacrifice even if we don't look at uh, on a daily basis look at the one sacrifice he gave his only begotten son oh my god mm, fills my heart with so much gladness this morning and i hope it does the same for you don't let your sacrifice be a struggle if you're feeling some kind of way, that's a struggle, and it shouldn't be. You do it with gladness and know that whatever you give of yourself will be given back to you threefold. And it may not come when you want it to or when you believe that it should or through the people that you believe it should come through or how it should rain down on you, but trust and believe it's on its way. You have to hold on to that. I love this book of the Bible. I just recently uh, started uh, my studies on it. I mean, we, we go through all of the everything as we grow up and we learn a little bit by little bit. But the book of Leviticus, it, it really goes into some, some very deep uh, and, and interesting things that, that the Israelites had to understand. And, you know, uh, chapters 1 through 7 focuses on... Um, sacrifices and, and offerings and then on to chapter 8 through 10 Moses describes instructions of, of the of the priests and individual details that they had to understand in and uh, what God wanted them to do and then it goes on from um, chapters 11 through 15 where where Moses teaches on the importance and the procedures of, of unclean things. You know, we, we have a lot of unclean things in our world, like the foods we eat, things that we do with our bodies. Uh, oh my gosh, it's just a, a wonderful teaching. And then the, the, the 16th chapter goes into the Day of Atonement when the priests had to go through the cleansing process to prep for, um, to be able to go before God. And then, you know, in chapters uh, 17 through 27, you know, it just speaks on, on having a, a, a holy life. So just, just an amazing book. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. And it really taught me a lot about myself, especially, you know, when you start to talk about um, sacrificing. I feel like I've made a lot of sacrifices and in, in, in many instances not so pure from the heart so it just makes me you know take a closer look at myself and a closer look at my walk and i hope that does the same for you today all right i am done for today everybody um happy friday again and um you know just take this day with full of being full of joy and understanding that you know you got an opportunity to be here today somebody somewhere didn't get that opportunity so be glad in this day. All right. So that's all I have for today, everybody. Be blessed, as I said. Make sure that you feed all three, mind, body, spirit. Love yourself. Love all those around you, even those that don't mean you any good. So again, have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Take care.